you guys can tell me whether it should be in or out. Okay, if that's okay, right? So, um, all right, you, you'll get the gist. I'm not going to explain this story. You'll get the gist of it when I when I do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, count, count me in when somebody. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Sean. They asked me if you got kids. Reluctantly, I say, yeah, yeah, I've got a son. How old? He's 21. And if they ask about his mum, I say she's passed on. I guess you can say she gave her life trying to save him. But I hate when he says, but you're the lucky one because he's got you. See, none of that's true. But that's when it all starts caving in. See, he was so young and innocent, yet I gave him up, turned my back, and ran away like I was too afraid of him. Cool. And every day it cuts like a knife. The fact that I'm not in his life, the fact that there could be some other man out there raising him. And all this time is gone. What time? And I would love to get reacquainted again, but the truth be told, if he was to knock on the door right now, I wouldn't even know what to say to him. I mean, how do I earn his respect when we never met and the burden of guilt weighs like the biggest chain around my neck? Forgive and forget. Yeah, may maybe he will. Maybe then I can reveal these useless excuses that cause me to step. My mates say I should search on the net and I say, yeah, that's true. But at the point I'm about to pursue, my hands clam up like glue, my nerves kick through and I'll start breaking in sweats. I mean, what do I do? If I was to listen, if he was to listen to the admission of my omission, I guess maybe then, maybe he would see why I made the most painful decision. And I say painful, but let me speak frank. Painful because without you, I, without him, I was missing. No, without you, I'm missing. Without you, it's like I'm on a collision to prison. And I'm not talking about the bars, but the scars from existing without knowing if you're living, without knowing if you're growing, without knowing your ambition. See, I was ambitious. I was young, I was driven. Then came the booze, the drugs, and the women, and then you came along and your mum was gone, and I thought, this, this is long. But now I know I was wrong. Now I know I was wrong. Forgive me, my son. That's powerful, man. I think that's got to stay in there because it's, it's, it's a companion. It's relevant to it's, some of the stuff that's going also on. Also, it's, it's different from Lloyd's scene. It's a companion yeah. to it. One has lost his son, 